As you all know, at the last election, the Workers' Party's campaign slogan was towards the First World Parliament. In whichever form, the First World Parliament will evolve. I think fundamentally what is important is that MPs in First World Parliament must have responsibility and must be transparent. Therefore, when the former Member of Parliament for Aogang, Yao Xinglong, failed to account for the allegation made against her, him about his personal life, the Workers' Party, being a responsible party, value itself to be a party of integrity, had to take the drastic step, step to expel him from the party. And thereby here we are, the by-election in Aogang. We will fight the by-election with the best of our ability. And now, I shall introduce you the Workers' Party candidate for Aogang. I believe you already know who he is. He's speaking quiet. There's no secret about it. But Lei is a mature candidate. I hope you don't take it as oh. Um I have known him since uh, before 2006 uh, election. But uh, we did not feel him as a candidate in 2006 because uh, we knew him too short a time at the point in time when we go into the election in 2006. As I told um, the election committee and some party members, every candidate we feel is a risk because if the PAP managed to dig out anything of the, on the candidate, then you have the whole election campaign uh, zooming in on the problem and they will fail to move on. So we didn't feel him on 2006. We observed him quite for quite some time, the way he worked, and uh, we are confident that he's a person of integrity, sincere, wanting to serve the people, and he fits our criteria as a candidate. And therefore, we feel him at the last election as a candidate at East Coast GRC. And again, in this by-election, the by-election committee has unanimously decided that Peng Yen Huat is the right candidate for outcome by election. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Peng Yen Huat. I think I uh, gave an intro just 12 months ago. Uh, so, uh, so some of the things I'll repeat. Uh, I am the youngest in the family of six. And uh, I was born in uh, quite a rough neighborhood. Uh, turned out okay. <laughs> and uh, I am uh, happily married. I have two kids, uh, one nine, one ten, and uh, happy kids, they're all happy kids, and uh, uh, I've been involved in Haokang since uh, 2006, like what Mr. Lau has said. Uh, actually, I specifically, I was in Haokang to take care of also the, uh, the welfare side, to take care of the needy residents, uh, before they tore down that, that rental block, the block three and block four. So I, I work uh, very closely with a lot of VWOs, a couple of them, to, to, to bring in food, ration, and all those stuff. And also, um, basically, just take care of their welfare. And then, uh, like what Mr. Rose said, 2006, I, I did help out uh, in the back end. So 2011, when uh, I was given the opportunity to stand, uh, I took up the offer. So I... I, I didn't know I have to stand again in 12 months time, so. <laughs> so here am I. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, bye.